The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Or so a scholar in the mountains had told him. Surely the weapon that banished the lost gods could defeat the Emperor. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Emperor had brought the Sky Ripper pieces up out of ancient burial by his obscene rituals. Could this be where the Iblis Stone was hidden? Someone better get it before he does, thought Renardo. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course, Renardo had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. But could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? Alright, you know what? Screw it. Let's do Sky Ripper next. We'll come back to this uh, story path later. Because right now, I want to see something new. Build the Sky Ripper. So the Rebellion was out of time and Renardo needed a game changer. Uh, let's see. An ancient artifact that defeated the Lost Gods would indeed be a game changer, though it was split into two pieces many years ago. Renardo could rebuild it by first getting its armature. Every child knew about the Sky Ripper. The Transcendent Emperor had buried its pieces. What could have brought them to light? This Emperor, Isengrim III, had once been kind, but he'd gone mad. And now he was conducting secret, obscene rituals to bring back the Lost Gods. Had he, somehow, summoned the long-lost components of the legendary weapon out of the deep places of the Earth? It was more than Renardo could fathom. But if he could find a legendary weapon, he would use it. As he set foot on the island, Renato couldn't help feeling a bit curious. Was Lapino still waiting to be rescued? No. He was probably drinking champagne with the ravens. Did ravens drink champagne? Did rabbits? Renato felt oddly thirsty, come to think of it. Why had he chosen the Sky Ripper? Renardo never made plans that required constant vigilance. He was a hero. He didn't think too much. He just went with his gut and hoped it all worked out. The Sky Ripper was a long shot. He'd have to devote himself to it. No side journeys, no rescuing old friends. That was against his nature. Could he stick with it? I wonder what I could make with all these sword crafting materials, thought Renato. I don't know which path is right, but I'm going to try and get all of them. There seems like there's a fair amount of resources contained uh, herein. And I would like to get them all. I think we've backtracked too far. I'm so glad I have this dodge, uh, dodge dash, whatever you want to call it. It's making traversing this area really easy. So yeah, if we find a weapon card, I can get the fire sword next. Which I've been waiting for for a fair fair amount of time, honestly. And I'm looking forward to it. Is why heroes are called dashing, Renato thought. See? Dashing? Get it? Maybe that's not it. I don't know. Like, I, I really want to collect all the bits before, I, before we leave. Just because... Oh, I guess that's it. That's the only way we can go. Okay. A little mini-map wouldn't, wouldn't hurt this game, in my opinion. It'd be nice, honestly. Oh, this is cool. The visual design for this game is really well done. I've always been rather impressed. Crafting bench. What kind of sword could he make now? So we could make Winterthorn if we wanted to, but this one's cheap and we have the Fire Essence. So let's get Firestorm. Okay, so hold right trigger to activate magic swords and we can switch between. Perfect. And we haven't found any gems yet. Okay, we can socket gems into this, but yeah, I haven't found any. Each gem has three levels. Picking up a gem will automatically upgrade that gem's level. Find gems and chests scattered throughout the Boreas if you're lucky enough. So yeah, we haven't found any of these yet. I wonder if the game scales itself up based on... Um... Like, I, I wonder if this game scales itself up based on how many stories you've completed. That'd be an interesting way of increasing challenge. Oh. There's a teleporter pedestal over here, or even more that so. It was always a rush. Found some secrets. This probably just gets me back, doesn't it? Yep, it does. 
Neat. I like that. Okay, so we've got some more of those, like, weird eye bit things. Whatever. Not like they're really a big deal, though. As long as it doesn't come around the corner. You blinked. Okay. So what do we got around here? We've got this little side area, but it doesn't look like I can get through here. Okay, that's, that's nothing. There's not actually nearly as much exploration in this game as I was expecting. I thought it would be much more, like, open environment-y, but it is quite linear. In retrospect. Oh, I see. Yeah, getting that Void Sword is probably going to get us a fair amount of cool stuff. And possibly extra pathways the people that... who had built this castle. Did they even know what monstrous weapon lay hidden within their walls? The Sky River could destroy anything it touched, or so the legend said. As the Transcendent Emperor had fought the Lost Gods, thousands and thousands had died. But Renato had been through wars. The only merciful war was a short one. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can get over there. Anyway, let's level up. Hey, I got a secret! That means I can get, uh, not true sword food, dash through enemies. Yes. What's the other one? Shield hooking, which would be useful, but let's do... That could be let's, useful. Let's do dash through enemies. That's probably going to be the easiest. Okay. Oh, I see. If we had winter... If we had winter thorn, we could get through that door. Well, we we don't. We can't. That's fine. We'll, we'll probably have it after this run through. Alright. Let's switch to the fire sword for once. Oh, shit. I press Y out of, like, default to counter, because that's how it always works in uh, action RPGs. It's not entirely true. Okay, that's a shield guy? I have no clue. Well, not flawless. But it worked out enough. Okay, yeah. I, I, I was playing this, what, maybe half an hour ago, and I've already lo lost my ability to play it right. That's fine. I should also probably set my sword on fire more often. So let's see where this brings me. Going off the beaten path usually results in nice rewards. Wind essence. Okay, that's different from void essence, I think. Sharp? Check. Pointy? Check. Flexible? Check. What else do you need in a sword? The truth behind the Sky Ripper is shrouded in a thick fog. The most believable tale is that the Transcendent Emperor has used the Sky Ripper to banish Iblis. Then the TE buried the weapon and vanished. Was it a self-imposed exile to rid the world of its last divine presence? Or is it the price to pay for using such a tremendous power? Could the Sky Ripper and Iblis have a deeper connection than just weapon and its victim? My rituals will summon the Iblis Stone. Perhaps I should worry that they will also cause the Sky Ripper to resurface. If that's the case, I should spare no resources to find it. A weapon that can banish a god is an invaluable bargaining chip, should the old ones decide to double-cross me. It is in their nature to try. But the gods are predictable, and I can rely on that to always be one step ahead. Emperor Isengrim III, Secret Journal. Interesting. Hmm. Hero Wall. Hero Sword. Ice wall, ice cube. Okay, so we got a hero door here, and that's the only one we can get through. I'm really curious what happens when we go through all the other doors. I assume that's just where the secrets and collectibles are. Well, I can't deny that they don't have. Ow. Great replay value in this game. These things hurt a little bit, though. Don't get hit by them. Okay. What the? And I'm dead. God. It's full of stars. You have died. Restart from checkpoint. Okay. So this time we won't get totally torched. So there's a limit on my, uh... There's a limit on my hook. Unfortunately, it's about the same range as my sword. Which kind of sucks a bit, but luckily we're okay. I don't have much to worry about. So these guys go around in a, a loop here. 
I was trying to stun the one guy before he noticed me. Renato hated gogglers, but it freaked him out to cut them. Okay, let's get away. Yeah, I was hoping I could grab one with a hook before it saw me. But, uh, no dice. At least this is easy enough. I technically don't need to kill them all. Technically. But I'm gonna do it anyway, just because... Who knows? Maybe I have to, like, come back. I don't know. Really curious if any of these swords actually do different damage. It was good to practice your moves, thought Renato. Keeps you limber. Doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of uh, variation in the combos. Like, it'd actually be really nice if there was, like, a heavy sword, a light sword. Oh, crap. I can't dash through shields. Okay. We've got a shield man. Irony! Take out the shield guy, miss completely. Curiously enough. Yeah, I'm not gonna b bother. Fuck. I keep pressing Y to counter. Because that's the way I've been raised to do it. Boop. Boop. Bye. Yeah, so we didn't get perfect, but we do get style, which is always. always not a bad situation. Okay, we desperately need health here. Let's see, what do we got around here first? It's gotta be like a treasure chest or some barrels. Hey! I can actually get this one open for once. Okay, what do we got in here? Probably some encounter, yep. Okay. Let's set our sword alight. Okay, I'm out of I'm out of endurance for a second. Gotta stay away from these guys. Okay. Fuck. I was taking out that shield. Did not work out great for me. Okay. Close enough. Style great. Yeah. So if I can't get a perfect, I might as well get a. Uh, if I can't get a perfect, I might as well get a high style. Ooh. Sweet, a gem. All he needed now was a workbench, and he could slot it into his gauntlet. That had been his mistake before, trusting his old friend Lapino, who had been through so many battles with him and shed so many heartaches, who he'd rescued so many times. What was up with that guy? Interesting that they've changed the story slightly. Okay, so it doesn't look like I can get back through here. That's fair. Where you get things rotating? Well, I can level up. Unfortunately, I'm like kind of in the doghouse health-wise. So maximum, oh, maximum stamina, stamina might not be a bad idea. So we've already got dash through enemies, shield hooking. Now let's do shield hooking. That'll save me a fair amount of grief. I'm surprised I haven't found a boss yet in this game. There it was, Sky Ripper's armature, the stuff that dreams are made of. Engineers' dreams, anyway. The device was intricate. No one alive had the skill to make a thing like it. How is it part of a weapon at all? He'd have to ask a scientist. At first, he'd get the second piece. Sky Ripper had a heart, a core that had come to rest on the next island. Well, there was another island he could reach. Zenobia had just invaded it with her father's raven battalions. She must be encamped there still. But fighting Zenobia now, that made no sense at all. He'd already sacrificed one friend to get this, this armature, was it? He didn't need to hurry to face her. She would find him. Interesting variation there. But let's let's keep going with the uh, Sky Ripper, obviously. I, I assume going down the obvious path in most of these is actually going to get you uh, a dead end and you have to take like some weird path to get to the end involving uh, the truths. For the time being though, he needed to get to the core of the Sky Ripper, obviously. Renardo has found the armature of the Sky Ripper. Without the core, it would be an empty and useless shell. 
The only reason one would seek the armature was to build the legendary weapon that had once banished the old lo lost gods. Obviously, Renardo should get the core. It was a no-brainer. He'd sacrificed his old friend Lapino to get the armature. And the armature was useless by itself. Only a series of coils and wheels. War demanded sacrifices. And he would make more before the end. He would have to choose the greatest good, no matter how much it cost him. Zenobia. Well, he would see her sooner or later, across a battlefield or a sword's point before all this was over. He was sure of that. The power was in the core. Obviously, he had to get the core. Doubt sunk in before he was even out of sight of the Farfarer. Why had he chosen the Sky Ripper? It was the sort of path he'd always avoided. The path of responsibility, of seriousness. Had he grown up? He didn't feel grown up. He'd made this decision from his gut, like he always did. Somehow, he'd impulsively decided to stop being impulsive. Did that make any sense? Doesn't look like it can come back that direction, so let's avoid that for a second and see what else we can get here. I desperately need health. We are in trouble otherwise. So we can jump down into the well. Interesting. But I'm gonna keep exploring for a second. Because the last time we did dismally low amounts of exploration. And I feel like that kind of hurt the experience a little bit. So now let's do some exploration. This was probably the right way, wasn't it? Alright, whatever. Yeah, we could seriously use some health boxes here. Unfortunately, the boxes have been giving me energy above all else. Uh, we'll probably be fine. Or get murdered repeatedly. I'm not entirely sure. Well, At least we're getting... Sense collecting more materials. It was time to make something pointy. There was something sour in the air. Like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very long time. We're getting a lot of essence here. Like, way more than the previous one. I think I found my farming path if I feel like uh, going back for loot and whatnot. Love the environment art in this game. Like, the amount of stuff that they just kind of pack into the backgrounds is really nice. What do you guys dress up as for Halloween? Just wondering. Okay. And there I go. Damn it, didn't see him coming from off screen. Alright, uh, that's fine. Yeah, running out of HP is... Oh, hey! Restarting from checkpoint actually puts me back at 50 HP. Useful. Okay, let's hit the... Ah, tits. So you can't... You can't, uh, counter while hooking somebody. I'm gonna just accept it. We've done that wrong. That's adorable. I love that. Okay, yeah, so the, the lack of HP here is kind of hurting. Pretty bad. We'll figure it out. Okay. Take out the mage. Okay, so the camera is currently not working for us here. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna just use dodges. To clear the area. Because, uh, dodges stun enemies. Which is always helpful. Okay, perfect. Acceptable style. I'm playing it there safe until we get some fewer trees. There are only these huge crystalline growths. Had those been here before? He no longer heard birds except for the feverish cawing of the ravens when they attacked. He couldn't smell the small animals of the forest. The mice and rabbits. Where are they gone? And he was getting hungry too. This was an unhealthy place to be. 
I apparently turned myself around. I thought this was like a secret side route, but nope. Turns out I just get turned around in the middle of combat. Okay, I don't see anything else around here. We've got a teleport rune. No door to open, no nothing. All right, let's get out of here. Don't get ahead of yourself, lad. Anything back here? Nope, guess not. Haven't leveled up. Uh, let's see. I kind of wish you'd like automatically open up the uh, the door you want along the way. Oh, right. We actually do want to upgrade this sword at some point. Okay. So the nice thing is... I can uh, take swords off of people now. Oh, not swords, uh, shields. I'm a little bit focused on the combat, just because death. Death is obnoxious. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so I can, I can hookshot shields off of people. What the? I executed them the wrong direction. Strange. Uh, but yeah, so I can, I can hookshot shields off, so we don't have to worry about, uh... I swear there's, there's, like, nothing breakable around here, which is weird. Alright, are we already done? I think we're already done. Alright. Neat. Yeah, so I can hookshot shields off. It makes life easier. They'll get a shield breaker thing. The I'd like to slot that. Made him feel physically sick. Once he had sneaked into a temple of the dark arts and he hadn't liked what he smelt and saw there, this felt like that. As quick as he could, he wrangled the icosahedron into the armature. The wheels began to spin, then glow. The sick feeling quickly spun away. Now he only felt sad. He had lost good friends for this war apparatus. Hmm, maybe Lapino wasn't such a good friend. Yeah. That made him feel better. He carried his prize back to the Farfarer. Now, he had to make his next move. There was a key Imperial outpost on the Nexus. If this really was some sort of super weapon, he could use it to wreak havoc on the enemy. And if it wasn't, well, better to know that before the final battle. But maybe he should show it to some scientists first. There was an observatory on the Nexus. Maybe he should go there before he fired it. Hmm. Seek help from scientists. Or no time for fuss no time for fussing attack the outpost. I feel like seeking help from the scientists could be more interesting here. So let's go with that one. Well, of course. If you've just assembled a weapon out of legend that can exile gods from the world, you'd want to have a scientist or two look at it. And even if they disagreed and he had time, he could ask Calaveras himself. Yes. The observatory would be his objective. I really wish this game actually had like a branching tree that you could see. Like your various your various pathways that you come through. I think that would actually be really nice. Just just so you know like how many how many of the stories kinda of intertwine with each other. And like how you get to various missions. Why had the parts of the Sky Ripper only surfaced now, thousands of years after the Transcendent Emperor had dismantled it? The Mad Emperor Isengrim had performed terrible, bloodthirsty rituals to invoke the Lost Gods. Was that why these ancient artifacts were rising out of the ground? How perfect, then, that the Sky Ripper would reappear to be his destruction. There had to be something useful in these things, didn't there? I'm desperately in need of health. Okay, good. It prioritizes the shield. I like that. That's cool. Great style, too, and I level up. I kind of wish I'd go back uh, to full health every time I leveled. Uh, it's kind of a shame that I don't. Like, if there's some way to get health back in an easy manner. Usually it's like boxes and barrels. But they are surprisingly few and far between. I also really like a weapon crafting bench, seeing as we can make one of several weapons. Might actually be able to get uh, enough void essence soon, too. No dice, though. Okay, so we can do extra stamina, not a bad idea. Extra movement speed could be helpful. Uh, impale your enemy on your sword when you grab him to cause damage. 
Uh, slows down time after a successful attack. Okay. So that void door we can't open up unless we get a weapon crafting cart. I'm not expecting to see one for a while. You get over here. I'm really digging the, uh... I'm really digging the, uh, the dash. Always feels good in this game. Okay. Let's see. I'm probably not going to beat my combo meter. Oh, I did. Okay, so I think that's a new record for uh, combo. A legendary weapon was exactly what the rebellion needed. They were outnumbered. The once kind emperor had become a tyrant, but his ravens stayed loyal, for he fed them his victims, and the other animals were too frightened to rebel. Renato shuddered at what the emperor was trying to do. To bring back the lost gods, the black harvest, the black sun? No. He would stop that toad, no matter what the risk. Okay, looks like we can get back this direction. Yay! Free treasure chest. Or, well, not free, but still. Easy treasure chest. Okay. Yeah, well, not getting a whole lot here. I really could use some more health. Unfortunately, now that I've got this magic sword with all the energy, uh, we're only getting energy. And the reason why that is, is because one of my swords, uh, fully upgraded paths can heal me. But, of course, I have not bothered with that yet. So, I'm not really getting the, uh, I'm not really getting the benefits from. Which kind of sucks, but uh, whatever. I do like this game's combat system. Like, this follows the Batman Shadow of Mordor style very, very well. And I am... The Nexus Observatory had the Empire's most renowned scientists working by themselves without interference. At least, so far. Hey! Hey, your workbench! He could try out his new bling. Your hits cause shield grunts to drop their shield. Hey. Okay, so we can... Let's get this one first. Just so we can open up new things. While attacking, freeze enemy costs energies. Uh, costs energy. That's fine. And we can upgrade uh, the hero sword at maximum level. I really wish there were more levels to the swords just because cool things could happen. But anyway. Let's, uh... Let's heal back up to full. Because now I actually have the ability to do so. Yeah! I'm not... Entire... Oh. Renato had always wanted a flying carpet. This was more like a flying tabletop. But it would do. This is interesting. I like it. So we're going to have to worry about fireballs from both sides? Not really. Okay. I could probably just deal with it. But I don't feel like it... Oh, that was a lot closer than I wanted it to be. I'm gonna just leave. I assume that's not going anywhere anyway. What the? Boy, some people were just liable to explode if you upset them. Watch out for explosive ravens. When hit or thrown, they explode after a few seconds. Use this to your advantage. Okay, stay away from that. There is explosions happening. But that doesn't bother me. I wonder if these swords do any extra damage. Interesting question. Oh, crap. My identification. Of new enemy types. Hard. And I killed myself, damn it. Gone better, thought Bernardo as he died. Alright, whatever. We'll try that again. Restart from checkpoint. It's like right here, too. Okay, that was cool. Whatever that was. Okay. Work in progress. Can I grab these? Nope. You know what? I'm just gonna let myself go down again. Uh, I don't know if I can grab the Warlocks. I don't feel like dealing with it. Ah, huh, yeah, it does look like it, it scales up the difficulty based on... 
wallabies. He thought. Why did it have to be wallabies? <laughs> okay, restart from checkpoint again. Yeah, so don't know if I can fling them off the cliff. But that's not the kind of thing I want to deal with. So I'm gonna mostly give them a wide berth. If I can. Okay. You, mine, you get over there. There we go. Okay, I don't know where these guys are coming through, but if I, uh... If I kind of hit them all equally, then we're okay. Oops. Stay away from that. I'm trying to hit him with my dodge. Ah, shit. I can't see anything. We need the, uh, we need the... Oh, shoot, what is it? The stamina upgrade. Alright, yeah, so if I can't get style... Oh, max combo factors into experience. I forgot about that. Okay. If I can't get, uh... If I can't get perfect, we might as well get style. Whew. Yeah, so it looks like it's just constantly adding enemy types to the mix. Either that or this mission's just by default harder. I'm not entirely sure yet. I love it that you can, like... You see all this stuff in the background, but it's actually level that you probably visit depending on, like, uh... What what story choices you've made over the course of this game? That's a nice that's a nice touch. That door has an eye on it. Creepy. Okay. Interesting. We had to wait for the animations to finish before we could uh, truly trigger that. Can I break any of these? The answer is no. Yeah. So next level we'll get the. Um... Renato was thrilled. The scientists seemed to think he'd put the Sky Ripper together right, but one toad was worried. Yeah, the Sky Ripper could tear a hole in existence itself. There are invisible strings that tie the universe together. If Sky Ripper cut one, the hole would widen and widen till our whole existence fell into it. Another toad sighed. Uh, Irving still believes in string theory. At least go see Calaveras. Hmm, yeah, said the worried toad. He knows more than anyone else has forgotten about the Transcendent Emperor. If anyone could tell him how to use this weapon safely, it would be Calaveras. It was he who had told Renato how to find it in the first place. But maybe he had to give up on using it as a weapon. Maybe he had to go to the secret rebel base and ask the generals there what he could do with a weapon that he dared not use. Let's go with Calaveras. Calaveras would know. Uh, so, the Sky Ripper could destroy existence itself. If there was the slightest chance that was true, Calaveras, the High Sage, was the final authority in legendary artifacts. If anyone could dispel Renardo's doubts, it would be him. Well, he should have known he'd have to consult Calaveras again. The scientists at the observatory were smart enough. But what did they know of the Transcendent Emperor? He hoped it wouldn't delay him too long. The Rebels had scheduled the final battle soon. Every day they delayed risked the exposure of the secret base. And some soldiers were already drifting back to their homes and families. Calaveras would fix the Sky Ripper for him. And then he would win the final battle. Maybe it was the cold. But after a few steps, Renato's optimism started to slump. What if Calaveras couldn't help? Did Renato dare use the Sky Ripper? Oh, he hated that he had chosen this path. It was so much simpler to rescue friends and attack enemies, even if some of those friends were more trouble than his enemies. Some of those enemies had been friends before and might be lovers after. No, okay, it wasn't all that much simpler, no. Physics made his brain hurt. That, at least he was sure of. It's interesting that the story... They want their things broken. They really ought to make them stronger. It's interesting that they make the story about him, like, second-guessing this path. Like, it's it's trying to convince me to go back and take the other options. I wonder why. Laziness, probably. Oh, hey! This is that, like, whole section of the level that I skipped earlier. There was the... Motherfuck. 
You know what? Huh. Interesting. I'm gonna just accept that one, just because points. I'd rather have limited health than uh, reduced experience, just because free stuff, you know? Alright. So let's try the, that again. Take out the warlock. Grab the bird. Fuck. Never mind. Guess I'll just go for style or something. I don't know, man. Clearly, whenever I try and do something cool, it just doesn't work out for me. Eh, close enough. He tried to focus on the now. The ravens who seemed everywhere all the time. Where did they hatch from? Were there giant raven hatcheries somewhere, or did they have families? Ooh, he didn't want to think about raven mummies raising their darling raven chicks. Yeah, Kilbaris would help. He would make Renato feel better about using the Sky River. And then Renato wouldn't have to worry about ravens ever again. Okay. There we go. There's the wizard down. Oh, the grappling hook uses energy. Good to know. Okay. This is this is working. Ah, uh, th see that that was a good fight. That was flawless. I just need to not get distracted and screw anything up. Okay. I don't know what's over here, but this seems cool. So let's take this path. Seems more unique than what Could I've been doing. In an elevator? Or a giant eagle? Or something? Does this bring me back? No, it brings me to where I was. Probably that elevator would just bring me to where I'm going, too. It, it's interesting. You know, I've been here before. I've literally taken, I think, that elevator before. But it feels completely unique every time. Ah, tits. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. You know what? I accept this. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna. And then it didn't. I'm gonna just accept. I mean, this game has so many forgiving checkpoints that I I feel like zero more remorse. Zero remorse for, uh, scumming these things. Which, ah, god, this game needs a multi-block. Yeah, let's try that one more time. Come on. Where I. Was the cake? We've been promised cake. The references in this game are really good. I like that. Oh man. Okay. Third try is the charm. Yeah, the problem is there's no multi-guard, which sucks. There we go. Keep grabbing him. Keep chucking. Keep murdering. There we go. Flawless. Already Renata knew more than he ever had. But about what? Alright, now we heal back up. That was much more successful. Third try really is the charm. I really need to stop doing this, honestly, but... Yeah. Bad habits die hard, man. Bad habits die hard. And, you know what, it is satisfying to, like, kind of perfect it over the third... course of the third battle. I don't think there's any penalty for restarting, either. Like, it's raised the stakes, but in a lot of cases, this is just me screwing around. Um, really needed a roof. Do I get energy back for hitting things? Doesn't look like it. I kind of wish energy would just recover on its own. Where were these healing items earlier? Is there anything back here? No, it's just a bunch of stuff to break. Alright, I guess that works. Yes, yeah, so I think the next time we level, I'll put summon to endurance. The other perks have helped. But I think the ability to... Uh, having the ability to... To dodge dash or hook one more time in the middle of battle will probably actually help a lot more than I'm giving it credit for. I mean, really, I'm just trying to go for the other utility things. We should probably stop breaking stuff. Okay, we can actually get to that one over there. But I think I hooked from the wrong angle. Yeah, I did. Alright, so I gotta be over here. But we've got a nice door that we can get through, which 
totally have not been using this sword and probably should be. I guess we don't have to worry about going back for secrets and whatnot. In a lot of cases, we revisit the area anyway, and it doesn't matter. But yeah, they, they reuse a hell of a lot of this stuff, and you forget because the encounters change every time. If it was the exact same encounters every time, I think I'd be much more chuffed about it. But no. Anyway. Dear Zenobia, do you remember that expedition I've sent to the depths beneath the islands? They've returned. Well, three ships have returned. Out of the eight I sent, of course, I mourn the losses, but the knowledge the survivors brought back is invaluable. What they have experienced is incredible. The air gradually grows denser and more turbulent until it becomes a suffocating, bone-crunching thunderstorm. But the islands, the islands keep stretching for miles below the surface. And they have roots that radiate downward, far beyond sight. The islands are alive. This is the proof I was looking for. The thick air of the depths keeps them afloat. And in the depths, they find their sustenance. Do they have a conscience? Are they aware of our existence, or are we merely parasites that they ignore or tolerate? I must prepare another expedition. This time, I will go myself. I need to see this wonder wondrous world of the endless deep sky. I hope you will visit me before I leave. I'd like to hear more about that new friend of yours, Renardo. With love, Father. So before he loses his mind. Huh? A lever? That was new. Most people still use doorknobs. Okay. Well, this works out. And combat, unsurprisingly. And I break shields. Ah, tits. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to accept this. This one's worth too much experience to, to go at. Otherwise, there we go. I love it how they occasionally run into, like, collision glitches, and it just looks dumb. Oh, the health is still there. Well, that's useful. Eating fruits were great, but you can never get the stains out. Okay, so let's try this again. What? Oh. Well, that encounter just went away. All right. I guess when in doubt, that works. No experience for me, but it's fine. Again, I can farm these as much as I want, so it's not like it hurts me that much. Treasure Hunter Gem. Neat. Like, if I'm feeling like I really... Shield Breaker level 2. Yeah, if, if I feel like I need more, uh, more experience or whatever, I can just redo a level. I don't know, that feels really good to me in a way. Good, good design? I don't know. Hey, I'm a Firefox. Thought Renato. What a goon. Huh. Oh, I can turn them off. That's adorable. Well, we gotta turn it back on because they've gotta take up those ice crystals for me. Oh no we don't. Sacrificed a friend for the Sky River. It would be worth it if you could bring a super weapon. Anything else around here? But the scientists had ruined everything. Okay. Yeah, I was hoping that uh, there would be, like, a secret unlocked by that, but most of the secrets are locked behind doors. Which is kind of a shame, but whatever. It was definitely easier to fight inanimate objects. Okay. I'm gonna keep hitting these, just for a little bit of energy. But it doesn't look like we're getting anything cool from that, either. Well, let's switch back to the Winter Thorn. I really would like to use it properly here. In one encounter. I was going to use in the, the, the last one, but no dice. Okay, use altar. So we've got extra stamina, probably. Uh, impale on sword, true sword foo. Attack enemies at any distance. Auto activates, no. So yeah, let's, let's go with extra stamina. Even more stamina. So I can get a bunch of bars for stamina. That will be a good setup. Well... Calaveras had never let him down. Yeah, of, of course I can make it work better. But when Renardo explained about the strings, Calaveras grew thoughtful. Oh, uh, strings, you say? Well, the Arcana do speak of the ties that bind the world. He drew many intricate symbols in the dirt. Yeah, so, um, according to my calculations, uh, each time you fire, I'm afraid there's a 1 in 120 chance you'll destroy the universe. That's pretty good odds. That's like rolling, what, 21 dice and they all come up six. 
What are the odds of that? What? No. It's more like 2.716 in a row. Anyway, with those odds, it won't happen if I use it just once. Yeah, no, no, that's... No, no, that, that, that's not right. Each time you use it... Okay, look, just don't use it ever. All right, I guess. As he sailed away from the mountains, Bernardo could see clouds darkening. Rain? No. Ships. Imperial ships, swarming thick as bees. This was it. The big battle. They could not afford to lose this one. What if it did not go well? What if he had to use the Sky River? Could he gamble the universe? On the other hand, what were the odds of rolling 21 sixes in a row? Looks like I don't get a choice in this one. All right. The battle was not going spectacularly well. What had the rebels been thinking? They'd been thinking he would bring the Sky Ripper, or the Iblis Stone, or that he'd sideline Zenobia somehow, or turn her. Couldn't he use the Sky Ripper just once? After all, if chances were one in 128, that meant he'd for sure be okay the first time. They'd get worse each time he used it, but the first time would be okay, right? He wasn't sure that it was right. So he didn't fire the Sky Ripper. He just brought it along, in case. Okay, gems. Yeah, gems. Okay, so we now have Shield Breaker level 2. Drop their shields. I have no idea what the difference between... Oh, and take damage. And increase rare loot by 1%. Seems a little redundant to me, but that's okay. Uh, I don't think I can upgrade any of my weapons either. Now, we've technically been, been on this level before, but it's slightly different. This time, we're not going with the ships? Uh, we'll probably end up on the ships anyway. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. A lot of... Yeah, we've been through here. I recognize this now. Good level design, though. Very pretty. Very interesting. It'll, by the time we're completely done with this game, I will have lost all interest in, like, the level design and whatnot. But it'll probably get a hell of a lot easier as we go along, though. Okay. We're getting better at this. What the... Okay, what I want to do is go through Captain Explody Pants. Cool. <laughs> the Explody guys are kind of annoying because you can't just hit them before they explode. That doesn't work. It's risky and a bad deal. Well, we're back here again. Oh, interesting. Where does this bring me? Haven't been this way before. Treasure chest. I love me some treasure. Nice thing is, a lot of these secrets can be repeated. What were so, these poles exactly? Parking meters from the time of the lost gods. Every time we what, where what? Every time we loop through. Ah, tits. Every time we loop through. Uh, we can uh revisit every secret along the way which is neat and appreciated and I totally oh I think I have to hold right trigger to use the frost move all right still can't get to that one but that's fine now we're back here as the okay I'm confused okay stay away from captain explosion he pants fuck Yeah, I've just got to dodge more. Countering is neat. I think I just countered everybody. But that's okay. Alright, so we took some damage there. Let's go back to the Healy Sword. Glad I have the Healy Sword, honestly. I kind of wish you could do, like, a charge-up attack or something. You know, that would let you, like, zip around the battlefield or whatever. Oh, well. What if we fight Zenobia at the end of this? Sign said. I'll switch, switch back to the fire sword. Let's see. 
grab him, toss him off, never mind. So I'm probably going to keep the shield breaker on. Ow, tits. I didn't see his exclamation mark. The uh, Sky Ripper was in the way. Okay, but yeah, we need we need more stamina. That's going to be my like go-to right now for th things to get my hands on. Cause uh, like the ability to like dash around the battlefield constantly. Someone had told him the odds didn't change just because you'd had a streak of good luck. His gut told him that was wrong, though. And he always listened to his gut. On the other hand, 128 chances to win. But one of them would destroy the universe. Hmm. That seemed a bit serious. Maybe he could defeat the Emperor without firing the Sky Ripper. Maybe he could bluff, but with a real weapon. Like in cards, when you had three knaves, but you pretended you had a Fizzbin. That could work. Oh, let's grab all this. A lot of energy. I can see why they hand out so much energy once you get the Healy well, Sword. They really needed to redecorate anyway. It's more efficient to do it this way anyway. Okay. Combat? Probably combat. Yep, combat. Let's move away. Oh, we already took out the... We already took out the Warlock. Well, let's take out the shields. One, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, he's out the door. Okay, sorta of killed him, sorta of didn't, I don't know. I, I tried flipping him off the edge, but it didn't work out right. Okay, don't get hit by the the fiery shots. It's a shame that they reuse the, the last level every single time. Like, I think this there's like zero variation between type A and type B. Uh, but at the same time, I, it moves so fast that I don't mind it that much. If it was like a big long dungeon, I think I'd mind more. And luckily, the game changes the encounters around too, so it's not a big deal. But this is very familiar, unfortunately. Because for whatever reason, we're going to Zenobia's private little ship. I'm not really sure why. That's a Frost Warlock. Gotcha. Enchanters can buff and heal enemies. Buff Ravens are very dangerous. Gotcha. Damn it! Unfortunately, it did the whole, uh... Actions are kind of happening. During combat thing. Which I always hate when it does that. There we go. Now I'm getting my, some of my mojo back. Let's heal back up. Actually, let's break these. Oh, I think we're... Oh, God. He set up the Sky Ripper and let it warm up. He would bluff if he had to. Zenobia came out, flanked by a very daunting platoon of ravens. You won't actually use that. She said in that annoying, I know everything because I'm a cat and you know nothing because you're just a fox voice she had. Or I know the odds. Good. Because there's a real chance you could destroy the universe. No, not the first time I use it. The odds are too low. What? Uh, no? Yeah, sure. The first time, the odds are practically nothing. They only go up if I use it a bunch more times. No, but that's not how odds work. Didn't you pay attention in class? Now surrender. Or I'll use it. Just once, he said. Don't. He felt sure the odds were with him. You have to go with his gut. That's what heroes do. Fire, he said. Please? The Sky Ripper fired. With a tremendous whoosh, the Emperor's flagship went up in flames. It was awesome. And then he noticed there was a hole in the air. A blackness, like a tear in a parchment. Wind was blowing into it, widening it. It grew larger, and even larger. Crates fell upwards into it, and the world itself seemed bent, like the reflection on a curved mirror, as it poured into the ravenous hole. Ah, oh, one in a hundred and twenty-eight. What are the odds? Thought Fernando, and then everything fell into the hole and was gone. Renato stared at the book. 
he was still alive. Again. And still only flying away from burning Ubar. Had he lived that adventure? Or only dreamt it? Had he really died? It felt so real, not like a dream at all. And he'd lost again. Oh, he hated that. But he had made different choices. And he'd lost in a different way. It was the book, wasn't it? Oracles showed you your destiny. But this... This was showing him different ways he could die miserably. Thanks a bunch, book, he thought. But these were destinies that he did not have to fulfill. But he'd learn another true thing. The core was powerful, but dangerous if used improperly. Alright, so, new story completed. Story number 21, Sky Rover's Guide to the Galaxy. Funny. I really do like the references in this game. Okay, what kind of hero are you? A hero who is willing to risk space, time, the universe, and everything, if the odds are in his favor. And five fire essence. New truth revealed, the Sky Ripper's core is unstable. Tier 3 skills unlocked. Yes! Alright! That means uh, more to go, though. However, I think that's it. So, I will see you guys on the next story. I guess we find more truths, but there are a lot of branches here. Oh, so I guess you only have to play through this game four times if you really want to beat it. And get the final ending, presumably. Of some variety. Uh, so we still got something about a Zenobia and something about the Iblis Stone. Uh, but honestly, I'm probably going to play through this 24 times. Uh, just to get every single story. Because I want to know. So this is probably all... Um, paths for the same thing. So different things that we do with the Sky Ripper. Different things we do with the Iblis Stone. Zenobia, and Bunny Man, probably. That's that's the assumption, seeing as they're, you know, they're all lit up and color-coordinated and whatnot. But I'm still interested to see. So, I guess with this, I will see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.